This video will review the typical bleeding procedures for SRAM brakes designed for mineral fluid using the Park Tool BKM 1.2 Hydraulic Brake Bleed Kit. For other brakes and models, see our playlist for disc brakes. Brake bleeding is primarily performed to remove air from the brake system. Additionally, bleeding the brakes will replace contaminated fluids. Brake bleeding requires a thorough technical knowledge of the braking system. If in doubt, or if your procedure is not working, contact the brake manufacturer's website for their model-specific information. It is important to always use the appropriate brake fluid for the brake being serviced. Never use a DOT-type fluid in brakes designed for mineral oil. Conversely, never use the mineral oil in brakes designed for DOT fluid. Mixing fluids can cause damage to the components and lead to brake failure. Additionally, you should never share bleed kits between the DOT and the mineral oil. Companies such as SRAM offer models in both mineral oil and a DOT. This can sometimes be found printed on the component parts. Verify the fluid required before proceeding. Typical tools and supplies for this procedure include the BKM 1.2 bleed kit from Park Tool, appropriate mineral oil for the system, T10 Torx 2.5 and 3 mm hex keys, Park Tool piston press PP 1.2 tire lever or a cone wrench, clean rags, isopropyl alcohol, safety glasses and gloves. Before we get to the procedure, let's identify the key parts of the brake lever and caliper that are used in the bleeding procedure. The caliper body will have a brake pad retention screw here. The brake bleed port screw is located on the inside of the caliper body toward the spokes. The brake lever reach adjustment screw is behind the lever. The lever bleed port screw is located here. It can help to cover the floor to anticipate any drips. Use the reach adjustment screw to set the reach from the lever tip to the center of the bars to between 75 and 80 millimeters. This moves the primary cylinder to allow for a proper amount of fluid to fill the system. For front brakes, there's already a consistent uphill travel from caliper to lever. For rear brakes, it may be necessary to lower the stand as you rotate the bike. A handlebar holder helps manage the bike as well. With the wheel out, remove the brake pads. Next, push the piston back into the caliper body using the end of a cone wrench or a plastic tire lever. Install the 11 millimeter bleed blocks. Two sets of pistons require two blocks. Attach a syringe holder next to the brake lever. Also attach a second syringe holder above the caliper. Select the hoses with threaded fittings on both ends and attach these to the two syringes. Only one end will secure into the syringe. Install the gold color adapter to the end of each hose. Fill one syringe three quarters full with the appropriate brake fluid. Hold the syringe upright with hose vertical. Pull back a bit to clear the tubing on the syringes. Then slowly push the plunger until fluid comes up to the end of the hose.
close the hose with the clip. Fill the second syringe for the caliper about one quarter full. Again, clear the tubing and then push the fluid to the end. Clip the hose shut. Remove the bleed port screw at the lever. Make sure the O-ring is on the screw. Using the three-quarter full syringe, thread it into the lever port. And attach the syringe to the holder. Remove the bleed port screw and O-ring at the caliper. Thread in the second adapter with syringe. Attach this syringe to the holder. Unclip both syringe hoses. To avoid pushing air into the system, hold the lever syringe vertically. Push fluid from the lever syringe through the lever, down the hose, and out the caliper to the caliper syringe. As you push the syringe at the lever, also pull a bit at the caliper syringe. This helps clear any air in the line as fluid flows from the lever through the system to the caliper syringe. Use care not to introduce air from the syringe by depressing it all the way to the plunger. If the fluid appears dirty, clip the top syringe shut. Remove the caliper syringe and dispose of the fluid in accordance with local waste disposal authority. Refill it three quarter full with new fluid and return it to the caliper. Keep the caliper syringe hose vertical to avoid getting air into the system. Now pull at the lever syringe to create a vacuum and move fluid upward. Push the caliper syringe if necessary to keep the fluid moving. Watch for any bubbles in the line or syringe. Repeat this movement of fluid between the lever and the caliper a couple of times or until no bubbles are seen. And with the syringe at the caliper more full than the syringe at the lever. Close both syringes using the clips. Be ready with the caliper bleed port screw and install it immediately after removing the adapter from the caliper. Secure the screw. Unclip the syringe hose at the lever. Remove the syringe from the holder and hold it in a vertical straight line. Squeeze the brake lever a few times. Draw back at the syringe to create a vacuum at the lever. This helps remove any bubbles remaining in the lever. Push on the syringe to pressurize the system. Then again, pull back to create a vacuum. Repeat pulling the lever quickly and working the syringe to create pressure, then pull back to create a vacuum. Watch for small bubbles appearing and collecting in the hose. Wait for these to rise up to the syringe before pushing down on the plunger. Reclip the syringe hose. Disconnect the syringe from the lever. Reinstall the port screw with O ring and secure. Test the system by pulling on the lever with force. It should feel firm. If it does not feel firm, there's air in the system. You will need to re-bleed the brakes. When the lever feels firm, remove the bleed blocks from the caliper. Clean the caliper and lever using a clean rag and alcohol. Install pads. Install the wheel and align pads to the rotor. See pad alignment in our video playlist. If the lever reach was changed, return it to the original position. 
after bleeding, dispose of any leftover dirty fluid in accordance with your local waste disposal authority. Remove the hoses from the syringe and remove adapters from the hose. Make sure the hose clips are open. Let the hoses drain. And that's how you bleed a SRAM mineral fluid break using the Park Tool BKM 1.2.